it's not expen well, it's not as expensive as uh, the new oral anticoagulants in the Mexican market. You can uh, have the the 50 tablets for or 50 gel cups for 20 25 dollars compared to uh, rivaroxaban for, for example is like a hundred dollars the 28 uh, tablets so it's less expensive there are no major side effects when you use it in uh, in, area, in the population Sulodexide, we use it here in Mexico for patients with uh, chronic venous ulcers for uh, chronic uh, venous insufficiency, although at a lower dose, but without any problems for regarding bleeding, that is one of the most uh, uh, important concerns to these patients. And the other benefit is it is an oral presentation regarding other low molecular weight heparin. So, in conclusion, when we did use this medication for uh, patients with COVID in the early stages of their disease, there was a reduced incidence of hospital care, there was a reduced incidence for supplemental oxygen support, there were uh, their D-dimers and C-reactive proteins were lower. Uh, mortality was underpowered to be a significant analysis. The other issue was, once the patients got in the hospital, there was not many difference regarding their length of stay uh, when in the cellular dioxide group. And this was, uh, or, or takes the importance again in early treatment. Uh, if you try to attack uh, when the patient is already critical ill, Many of you have had the experience of seeing patients that no matter what you do, their outcome is very, very bad. So if we have a possibility to um, give the patients something to fight when they're starting the, the infection, well, maybe we have an improved outcome of this. Now, again, this is a very, uh, uh, very good results, but we still need to confirm this data. It is uh, 